Ladies and gentlemen, Coach Deruda, hey. Fresno State football. <laughs> What's up, baby? Not much. We're, we're just getting off the practice field from our Wednesday practice. Uh, two more work days tomorrow and Friday before we get, get on out there. No one said it was going to be easy opening no. the season in Nebraska. <laughs> Man, Coach, some might say you're crazy. Doing big things. <laughs> I love it. Well, I'll tell you what. That's our legacy. You know, Coach Hill was here. If, if anybody, anytime, anywhere, our, our kids love that mantra. Our coaches do. We love recruiting to it. That's why you come to Fresno State. Not only compete for a number one goal, and that's the Mountain West Championship, but get an opportunity that, that very few schools do. Uh, you know, in, in the uh, non-power five, to go to places like Lincoln, Nebraska, you know, you measure up against the best in the country and see where we stand. I love it, Coach. I love your attitude. Being bold. What do you like about your football team? Well, I'll tell you what. I think we're young, but very, very talented, uh, especially in our skill positions. Uh, you know, we settled in last week on our starting quarterback in Chase and Virgil, uh, which is the first time since Derek's been here that we've really had a quarterback earn that position out of fall camp. Uh, as a coach, is nerve-wracking. Uh, we just need to have somebody step up and, and take that job. Well, Chase has certainly done that. This year, so I think he can you know, spread the field, get us in great plays, and get us moving. First of all, shame on me because you're going into your fifth season here at Fresno State. We got the Greg and Dre morning show over here, our top yeah. morning show in Fresno, and this is the first time we've had you on our show. So I want to say uh, shame on me for not getting you on okay. sooner. Love Bill. That's okay, but uh, it's great to be on now, and, and, and hopefully a bunch of your listeners are, are Bulldog fans. Yes, they are. Bulldogs, hopefully we'll see them you know, week from, week from Saturday when we have our, our home opener against Sacramento State. Yeah, and I, I would say this. So fi- it was finally just this off season. I got a chance to meet you, Coach. You had a, a nice little get-together when you were announcing your freshman class. And I had an opportunity okay. to go over there. As a matter of fact, you said any questions, I was the only guy that threw my hand in the air. Okay, I, said, I remember you now. <laughs> and I said, and, and by the way, I love your wife. Coach's wife is like, you can see why successful people are successful wow. sometimes. They got a rock in their corner. That's beautiful. They got a rock in their corner. I love Coach's wife. But I yeah, threw my hand in the air all excited. I said, Coach, it's great to have all these freshmen. Uh, but are they going to play? I'm looking at the two deep right now. you got a lot of freshmen that are suiting up and are ready to play, Coach. Wow. Well, we promised you that we signed a very, very talented uh, class coming in. And I think we've got four or five guys in our two deep that, that are either freshmen or redshirt freshmen that, that uh, really, you know, open our coaches' eyes this spring with the way they competed or, the, or this fall camp. And uh, we're excited about going out there. And uh, to your first comment about my wife, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very blessed and fortunate. You know, they, they say there's only two types of coaches in football. They're, they're great wives and ex-wives. And oh, man. I got the former one. Yeah. Well, uh, she was great. It was great to finally meet you, Coach. I'm glad we got you on the other day. I want to throw a couple names at you. I saw Juju Hughes was one of your recruits. I see him mm-hmm. on the two deep. He must have impressed you right away coming that's as a dope. freshman out of Hanford. They won the state championship. That is uh, amazing. That's awesome for a local yeah. guy to come right in as a freshman. Oh, yeah. Of course. And get some playing time. Also, um, Josh Hokett. I don't remember you announcing him when you did your first announcement, but uh, he was a stud at Clovis High last year. No doubt. Juju had a great Great season last year, as as did you know his team down there at Hanford. You know, winning the state championship. He's come in here and he had a lot of natural ability, which which we expect. But you never know with freshmen how they're going to show up mentally. Can they pick up the package? You know, because we do a lot of things on defense, much like an NFL defense. And for some guys, it takes them a while to learn it. But he's picked it up very very quickly. He's very natural with the ball. He was a, a, a takeaway machine in camp. I think he had five or six interceptions in camp and just really stood up. So we're really excited about him. As far as Josh Hokett, Josh at, at signing day uh, was going to be a wrestler. He had actually signed with Drexel University. I believe his uh, brother is there. Uh, but when we decided to bring wrestling back, he thought, what better place to wrestle than Fresno State? And so uh, he got a release from Drexel because of that. And uh, we talked to him about playing football and wrestling, and we're glad he has because he's a very physical force. He's come out here and really, you know, shined in front of the coaches and his players. And he's one of those guys that you got to tell him, whoa, all the time, not kidding up. He's going so hard, he might get our guys hurt. So we got to tell him, hey, at times, you know, just dial it down a couple times. Kalon Milton is on the team right now to Buchanan High School. And also, yep. be looking out for his younger brother, Coach Kendall Milton. I'm sure he's already on your radar. Oh, man. We've yeah. had him on our show yes, already. And this kid's coming up yeah. strong. Well, you know, Kendall is, is, is a young man that, that was in our camp. We can't talk about him. Okay. Uh, he's in high school now, but, but we, we obviously know about him. Uh, right. But, but Kalon's doing a great job. He's going to travel with us to uh, Nebraska. It's always tough when a guy comes in the summertime, but he's come in and jumped in with two feet. He'll be involved in our special teams, and uh, we're glad to have him on the team. I'm excited Amazing. about the Bulldogs so this I. year, and I want all of our listeners to support. This is our local team, and these are all local kids we're talking about that coaches recruited to play right here with the red and white on 
at Bulldog Stadium. A lot of local kids, a lot of young guys that are excited and ready to play for this city and this university. And I'm fired up about this Bulldog team. Now, Coach, I'm so fired up. I got to tell you, Kimmy will back me up. On my bucket list is one day, because I'm such a huge football fan, I don't know on what level, some level somewhere, someone's going to give me the opportunity to give the the opening speech before everyone runs out in the tunnel. Coach, you got to have Greg out there. He's been dying. It's like like a dream of his. Can I give you a sample? Is that possible? Real quick. Sure, sure. Bring it on. This is my bucket list. Check this out. One day somewhere, I'm going to get this shot. A coach on some level is going to hook it up. All right. All right. Here we go. Let me. We we got Sac State at home. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. We got Sac State coming up here in, in another week. Coach, so here we go. I'm in there. I'm ready to talk to the team. This is what I want to tell your football team, All the right. Fresno State Bulldogs. I want to tell them this. I want to say football, you know what it's like? It's like life itself. That's mm. what it is. You know why it's like life itself? Why? Because there's certain things in life, just like football, no one can take from you. You can only give it away. Good. Things like integrity and character. Yeah. And let me tell you about this football game against Sac State. They can't take it from us. We can only give it away. But I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Things we're not going to do. We're not going to have sloppy play no. and penalties and drop balls because that's how you give it away in life and in football. Great. But that's not what we're going to do. And <laughs> one other thing. There's somebody else. That other locker room over there in Sacramento State. And guess what they're doing right now? They're talking just like me. Mm. And you know what they're telling that team? What? They're telling that team they can win today at Bulldog Stadium. Hey. Well, I got news for them. They are a liar. <laughs> they are lying. They are lying in that locker room because nobody comes in to Fresno at Bulldog Stadium oh my and God. takes anything from us. We can only give it away and we're not going to do it today. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, Coach, uh, are we, are if you ever get this? tired, if you ever get tired of talking, have Greg out there, please. <laughs> Let him do all that talk. I could do this. It's on my bucket list. You ever need me. I bring this same intensity every day. I was going to say, I, I like the passion. I like the intensity. We can always work on the message a little bit. Okay. okay. Not a bad start. <laughs> okay. Not a bad start. It's a little Thank too you. tough, maybe. Coach DeRuder, no, everybody. Good. Thank you so much. Fresno State. Hey, 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 love them. Hey, appreciate you guys having me on. Hope to see everybody out here for a home opener. We'll be uh, out there, Coach. Hey, we'll Coach, be rooting. That's you are sure. welcome on Q97.1 and the Greg and Dre Morning Show anytime. And anytime. So, and so is your wife, by the way. Okay, Greg, Dre, appreciate you having me on. Thank you.